welcome back to vlogmas day 11 11 already god um we're using our it's called the power cooker plus which i think is the same thing as an instant pot i don't know please leave me links below of your favorite instant pot recipes it won't automatically show up um, because i have links hidden like you can't just post a link to my page like on my youtube channel because it gives a, it's a lot of times it's spam but i'll still see it and i'll prove it but wanted to share this so this is the little book that came with it we're just trying this out for the first time don't know why it took us so long but apparently you can go from frozen chicken to like cook cooked pasta in 20 minutes so all we added was three cups of come on oh and i look like this because i work from home today pete still is not at work three cups of pasta a lot like almost 50 ounces of uh pasta sauce because that's what it says and the first time i'm gonna follow the directions hmm. okay we have gluten-free noodles pasta sauce and frozen chicken breasts looks kind of gross not gonna lie it's literally frozen chicken breasts um with noodles let me Go ahead and mix it up a little bit. And like I said, this is the exact one we have. My mother-in-law got it for us. She got it for us last year, um, and we just haven't really cracked how to use it yet, but we're going to do it today. We're going to do it. All right, so we are back. It made the craziest noise while it was going. All right, battery's dying. We'll let you guys know how it is, I guess. Vlogmas day what, 12? We did not post a vlog on day 11. I'm so confused. Because as you can see by my outfit, this is exactly what I was wearing yesterday and exactly how I looked because still don't have heat from the office, at the office, so I'm still working from home and I'm still stressed out. I literally just finished a project. They're presenting it tomorrow at 10 a.m and you're being loud and rude yeah rude dog and we, it was one of those things that like none of us thought we were gonna get it done but we got it done and it looks awesome so um i've just been very stressed like literally sat down at my computer this morning at 807 got up to use the bathroom a few times and that was it everything like i've been in there all day so whew. last night's dinner gotta talk about it because we did not the battery was dying. I thought it was pretty good. Yeah, it was good. My, I don't know, my head's hurting. <laughs> um, we definitely like learned that any of the like liquid, so like the sauce should have gone on the bottom because we did have a few burn noodles, but for us to have that thing for a year and just now be experiencing its greatness, I'm very upset at myself. I keep waiting on these jeans. They're supposed to come today. I ordered two things on Black Friday. Neither of them have come yet. It's been two weeks um, this Friday and it's really sad, but I get that it's Black Friday. So obviously the influx of orders makes sense, but I want my jeans. I want my sweater. I bought that free people sweater that you see every fashion blogger and their mother wearing right now because it was like 50% off. And then I bought a pair of flare jeans from beachy dolls or beachy collection or whatever you being rude Susu. Susu, are you being mean not mean just rude. rude what you want okay let me move that my jeans came in you guys please disregard holy crap look they are like the perfect flare jeans kind of obsessed you want to know how high the heel i'm wearing is four inches it's never happened i've never been able to wear heels with flare jeans but here they are these probably aren't everybody's taste but i think they're adorable 
and honestly if you're any shorter than I am you probably are gonna have to wear higher heels or get them hemmed but so worth it I will link them in the description bar below how cute but obviously not with this top I never thought I would suck this bad at vlogmas but here I am sucking <laughs> so okay it is now vlogmas day 13 I believe mm. Well, whatever. Um, so I'm gonna catch you guys up on what's been going on with work and like why we kind of haven't been vlogging. Let me put you down. So we started, it was 11 I think was the first day that we weren't able to post. So this week has been, it is so bright for it to be so early. I've got like 20 minutes and I gotta start work. Um, so I had a project due Thursday which is yesterday when you're watching this it's today um when i'm filming it and we knew it was coming it was one of those projects that like we low-key all kind of were like is this gonna happen like is it gonna happen the way we want it to happen because you get like in commercial design you get like a short time frame you don't get like months to work on huge projects you get like a week um and we knew we were gonna they were gonna be presenting today but we didn't know exactly what we'd be able to to give them on top of having this huge project all week long i've had training for cet plus we have had meetings like normal like it's been a normal work week yesterday at 502 i finished the project i can't believe i did it i literally have been at my computer i get up to use the bathroom and that is it i've never been so like in the zone about a project because I don't know usually I don't feel pressure and stress from projects the way this one made me feel so usually I'm not as like in my computer um, stressed out so when I would when the day was done I wouldn't feel like vlogging I wouldn't feel like editing videos <laughs> and then Sam's had a pretty rough work week too it's just been a lot for him so we're gonna post this. It's gonna go up. It's gonna be fine. We're gonna keep Vlogmas going from here on out every day, just like we were doing. We had gotten really good at it. Don't let me fail. Don't let me not post. Call me out if I'm not posting. Um, because now it's really gonna start slowing down at work now that like this project's over. I say that I should knock on some wood or something. Um, but I have two more days of CET training and then like two small projects to finish today and it should be crazy. So that's really all I've got going on this weekend. We've got Christmas with Sam's family. We have a baking day with my family. We have um, to finish up Christmas shopping because Sam, we have like a friend's Christmas next weekend. Haven't gotten any gifts for that yet or haven't got the guys gifts for that yet. Um, so we have to finish that up. Grocery shopping. We have a lot to do. So you guys are gonna be getting a lot more normal content, but your girl needs some coffee. And I just woke up, which is why I keep scratching my face. It's like a convulsive thing I do in the morning. I don't know what that's about. So by the way, I'm seeing that the K-Duo, which is what this magical little thing is, ow, um, is back in stock in some places. So I'll link it in the description bar below for you guys if I can find it. Really, Allie? You're all just rude. You just came inside like 40, Five seconds ago. Your root. Mommy has to start working in a few minutes. Yeah. I know you don't know what that's like because you don't got to work. You just get to eat my food and sleep in my bed. But mama has to start work. That's what provides the food and the bed. Yeah. Yep. I know. Dang. That was rude. No, it's true. I don't know if this has been on here yet. Nope. I don't know. Can you can you see? Just let me. Nope. Just, just I was gonna say get close to it. It's butcher block. What are you gonna do to it? Uh, I'm gonna try to make it darker so that we can use it as a cutting board because it is like white. It's so yellow pine, yellow whatever it is. Um. So yeah, I'm, I'm trying to make it look darker and make it look used. Uh, I found a thing on. 
started on Pinterest and then ended up on Etsy. Saw a couple different things on how you can make like an iron acetate stain thing and people use it and make, it's like a, makes wood look vintage. You can look it up, iron acetate if you want to. But I'm not sure if it's food safe, which is why I didn't want to do it. So the one I'm doing is use coffee, like coffee water, I guess. Is that why the house smells like coffee? Yes. That's, yeah, I'm literally like... I'm boiling. actually about to make a cup of coffee. Um, you use coffee to stain the wood. You just literally like oh. boil coffee grounds Good. and water until you're Good. almost out of water. And then that like thick, dark, watery paste is what you paint on. So I'm going to lightly sand this just to rough it up. So, as you can tell, I've been training, rinsing, and squishing coffee grounds for a while now. It's going to be sped up, so it won't be as long for you, but this is what I got. Slow going. Uh, I'd say half a cup, and I'm not really sure how much I'm going to get, but I've got like a mound. Of, it's too dark, you're not going to tell. But there's like a mound of coffee grounds in there, so I'm going to keep squeezing, and this is going to turn out really dark. So... Hopefully the cutting board looks good. Uh, I've been filtering and refiltering like and camera. squishing She's and the camera, babe. <laughs> no <laughs> coffee grounds and Pick coffee for like a good 10-15 minutes now. I'm sure there's probably an easier way than I did. I put the the recipe called for a cup of coffee grounds and a cup and a half of water. I'm pretty sure I did like two cups of coffee and like a cup and a half of water so that it'd be really dark. That's what I was hoping for. Um, so I, after all my filtering and everything, let it boil and let it boil out and all, I probably have just over half a cup, maybe three quarters of a cup of coffee that is like the blackest coffee I have ever seen. And it's like kind of dyed my fingers where I was squishing the coffee grounds. Ew. So if it dyes the wood as good as it's dyed my hands, it should come out pretty good. Um, also I tasted it. It is like what? so strong. It is disgusting. Babe, why, did, why did you taste it? So now I'm going to start You're just trying to complain to about it hurt your stomach. Paint it. I just barely like licked my finger. I didn't need enough to like I didn't drink it. Um, now I'm going to start painting it on here and see how it goes.
hopefully this dries as dark as it is because it looks really good. It looks a lot better than it did. That's what it's looking like right now. And that's only one coat of, like I said, that is like pitch black concentrated coffee. But I mean, that's it. It's, I mean, it's still wet. Like it hasn't dried and soaked it all in. That's what it was. So pretty, uh, pretty drastic difference, I would say. So, um, and because it's coffee, I mean, it's, it's ah. coffee. It's hundred percent. It's going to be food safe and all that good stuff. And I'm going to put mineral oil on it after it actually soaks all this in. His name is Jesse Bradford and I recognize him from the movie Bring It On. I love Sam's DIYs, but y'all, God, why is this camera not focusing today? It's probably like, ooh, who is that without the makeup? But this boy does not clean up his messes. Come here. He didn't clean them up ever. He'll go, I'll clean it up. He'll clean it up like 80% of the way. Gotta do it. Okay. All right, we're out. That looks so much better. It does. We are not going to miss three more days of Vlogmas in a row, we're sorry. Our dog smells terrible. Hey, dog. He smells so bad. Your mouth's not playing in the dirt. Dog, let's go eat dinner.